How's it going guys? Abby here and today we're going to be heading to Tiber River in Italy here in Fishing Planet. Now there's a couple different things that we want to catch when we're here. Now one of the main thing is just going to be trout in general. They got the Creek, creek uh, Brown Trout, they got European Brown Trout. Another thing we're going to go after is the Eel. We're gonna go after the marble trail and we're gonna go after the wells catfish now i have every setup i need to come here again if yours differ differs or varies guys you might have to adjust it a little bit but i'm gonna be bringing the feather light this is just so i can fish for trout with the feather light i really like fishing for trout with the feather light it's super super fun they put up a hell of a fight especially uniques they put up a big big fight guys but it feels like you got an absolute monster on when you're using the feather light so that's why i'm bringing it using that purple narrow spoon that uh, you see in almost every single video my second setup is just going to be a bunch of my bottom rods here guys now don't mind the hook sizes those are going to change depending on what we're targeting so don't pay any attention to them but those are my my bottom rods again if you guys have float rods or whatever you want to bring feel free to bring them i'm bringing them for the catfish and for the eel and then i also brought another um another lure rod here with a spinner this is just the jig winner 270 this is so um if i don't want to put up crazy fights against trouts i can still just bring them in relatively easy and i am using 5.4 kilogram test on that if you guys want to double check the setups just feel free to pause the video um, other than that make sure you bring some number one hooks so basically what i'm going to do here is we're going to go through and we are going to build a setup for each one of these that we're going after so the eel you're going to want to use a number one hook not one aught number one and we are going to use some medium cut bait that's what we're going to use i believe it's medium cut bait it should be for these we're going to go to a 4-0 to 6-0 and we are going to be using large minnows to go after the wells cat for the marble trout guys we're going to throw on 3-0 barbless hooks here uh, you can use regular hooks and then we are going to throw some spawn sack on and again guys i have titanium leaders on just because i always forget to take them off and put them back on but you guys want to get in the habit of uh, taking them off and putting them back on. But for me, I'm too lazy, so I'm not going to. But that's basically all we need, guys. So we got our feather light set up. We got our bottom rod with some medium cut bait and a number one hook. Make sure you grab that. Uh, our next setup is a 4-0 barbless hook with large minnows for the Wells Cat. And then this is the one for the Marble Trout 3-0 barbless hook with Spawn Sack. And then we got an extra lure rod here. But that's all we need, guys, to go after these fish, so let's head to Italy. All right, guys, once you get to Tiber, come to Tiber Rocks here, and this whole area down here is where you're going to catch a lot of the trout. So if you want to go trout fishing, this is a very, very good spot to go to. So you can see here, uh, you can fish all the way down this river here. So I'll show you a couple spots along the river. But you can see here, European brown trout, European brown trout. That's all on spawn sack. This one was on the 1-0 narrow spoon, the unique marble trout. All right, guys, so we got to fish on the bottom rod here. Now, of course, you probably don't have a bunch of bottom rods if you're coming here. You're probably just using something a little bit more XP friendly. But you can see here, we're going to pull in some trout pretty, pretty quickly. So there's a marble trout already. And all I'm doing, guys, is casting a couple of rods over here, one over there, one over here, and then using my feather light set up all the way down here. That's all you really got to do here, guys, is just, just fish. It's super, super, super easy trout fishing, but it's a lot of fun. All right, guys, we got another one on the bottom rod here. Uh, hopefully, this is a different fish, just to prove to you guys that you can catch them here. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, we got a European grayling. Now, those are some cool-looking fish. There we go, guys. We got another one on the feather light. This one isn't as big. Hopefully, we don't lose this one. I'm going to be a little bit more prepared this time. I don't want to lose two fish in one video, because that would just be embarrassing let's try and bring this bad boy in here but this spot's really really good guys honestly you don't have to fish up the river at all you could just stay right here and do perfectly fine but i will show you guys a couple other spots for uh for some good fishing let's see if we can bring this one in come on no don't you dare lose attention this time Oh, I almost did it again. Holy crap. Come on. Okay, let's just run after him. Don't do what I'm doing, guys. This is how you lose fish right here. I'm trying to speed it up so the video isn't 25 minutes long, but... 
not really not really helping but yeah guys feather light setup if you want if you want really big fights feather light setup if you don't bring something a little bit uh, heavier duty but i like trout fishing on a feather light so that's what i that's what i brought that's what i use there we go what do we grab trophy european brown trout there you go nice little fish now guys if you just head right from where we were before you can see there's the markers from before uh, i i have caught a couple things just in these rocks right here so i will show you guys the markers here just so you kind of have an idea but european brown trout marble trout and marble trout so you can catch stuff here guys i'm not going to show you uh show you guys me catching stuff here because i i honestly i just caught those other ones not even that long ago but there you go guys this area right here not too shabby um, it's kind of tough to use a lure here, but you can definitely catch them here. We're going to keep heading right, though, guys, so let's keep on heading down. All right, guys, you're actually going to want to head to Streaming Beauty here, and this is where you're going to catch some of the other fish. Now, this is where I caught a couple of the marbles and stuff like that. Uh, so basically, you just spawn in, and right here, guys, is absolutely perfect for, for catching the marble trout, especially uniques. <clears throat> So you can see here, I got a couple markers. 3-0 Shiner, Unique Marble Trout. Trophy European Grayling on the Turtle Spoon. We got a couple other marks here. Let's see if I can actually hit them. Trophy European Brown Trout. That's on the Narrow Spoon. 3-0 Shiner, Unique European Brown Trout. So right here is a good spot, guys. I'll go ahead and fish here. Put some Shiners on instead of Spawn Sacks. Just so you guys know that you can use them here. You can see I kind of just cast it out in this general direction. I do have one over to the side, though. Now, it's really up to you guys what you want to do here. You can kind of do whatever you want. I'm going to go ahead and use this X-Series Nano Spinner, and we're going to give that a shot. I'm just going to cast into the back there and fish from here, guys. Oh, it looks like we already got one on, too, which is great. Hopefully, it's a good size. Let me go ahead and pull this up. Let's see what we got here. It'd be nice to get a unique marble trout right off the bat. But you can see here, guys, these rods super overpowered. Super, super overpowered. What did we get? Trophy European Brown guys, Trout. we got another fish on here. Hopefully we can pull into uni while we do a quick stop here. But this spot's super, super good too, guys. So if you're looking for, for trout, definitely come to these two spots. And you guys will not be disappointed. There we go, guys. We got a fish on the bigger uh, lure rod here. With the X-Series Nano Spinner with the red tail. Let's see what we... Oh, wow. He's a little bit of a fighter. This might be a uni or at least a trophy. Let's see what we got here. Actually, just a regular while, that's surprising. So all you're going to want to do, guys, is just head right here. And you can see I have some markers up here already. I will quickly go show you guys a the spot. There was a Young Wells back here as well. But there was some European Grayling and European Brown Trout and stuff like that. I'll uh, fast forward through this so you guys kind of have an idea of where to walk. All right, guys, so it is a bit of a walk to get down here, but it's a pretty cool little area. I like that you can fish up the river here. Now, I don't necessarily mean it's going to be better than the, the, the other spots, but hey, it's a little cool that you can walk up the river here. But let's move on to getting some of the Wells catfish. All right, guys, so what you're going to want to do is come on down to Float and Feeder Haven, Heaven, Heaven, Haven. God, I'm a loser um come on down to float and feeder heaven and all you're gonna do is go ahead and equip a couple different rod setups here now this obviously depends on what your setups look like but i'm gonna have two going for the eel and one going for the catfish because they are in the same spot guys so you see these markers i have right in front of you you literally spawn in right here this is where i caught the uh the eel and the the catfish now it does say number two hook on the medium cut bait uh, but that's a unique one that was on a 1-0 i know that or number one sorry not 1-0 that was on a number two and then this is on number uh four aught to six aught so basically all you're gonna do guys you want to catch the eel or the catfish here just come on down right here just plop your lines in the water like so i'm gonna go ahead and throw a couple different things out here just because i want to not have the video take 25 minutes but we're going to go ahead, try and get some eel here, guys, and you guys can see what an eel looks like in this game. If you guys want to know how far out I'm casting here, this is the catfish rod. I am going about 35 meters out. I will throw a conversion up for you guys. And then for these eel ones here, I'm going about 29 meters out, and I will throw a conversion up for you guys there. Just wanted to let you guys know 
where I'm casting just so it's a little bit easier for you to follow. And you can just tell by its dead weight that this is a catfish. One thing you guys are going to notice once I get an eel on the line here is how much they splash. It is absolutely crazy how much they splash. But you can tell by the dead weight here, this is a catfish. Again, I'm using 4-0 barbless hooks here. I'm using the X-Series ones, but you'll do fine with just regular ones. And there we go, guys. Trophy Wells catfish. Nice and easy. Let's grab an eel. Oh, here we go. Come on. Be an eel. Splash. Yep, that's an eel. Let's go. Love to see it. And there we go, guys. That's how you get an eel. Now, obviously, you can't keep this fish uh, without a license. I didn't buy one because I was I was lazy. And I think you have to release it anyways, even when you do have a license. But yeah, keep fishing here. If you guys are going after the unique, you should be able to get it. Now, I don't want to sit here and farm for the uni, but I will show you guys the marker. Fish verification. No penalty. I released the fish. What are you talking about? No penalty. Uh, there you go. There's the unique European eel. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you liked the video, make sure to hit that like button and that subscribe button. Ring the bell so you don't miss a single video. Check out the description for links to my other social media platforms like Twitch, where I stream five days a week. Come hang out live. It's a lot of fun. Also, make sure to come type a comment. Tell me to catch more fish or whatever you guys want. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.